Flags lowered across the nation, including at a school named after a man who lobbied the government to create the residential school system, now likened to a cultural genocide, with thousands of children torn from their families, their identities erased, and some never returning home. And the recent discovery of a mass grave of 215 children at a residential school site in Kamloops, B.C., has many people wondering if we should revisit the names of schools whose namesakes are people like Bishop Grandin. Edmonton Catholic confirming they are reviewing the name. In our traditional ways of thinking is once you know better, you do better. The Bent Arrow Traditional Healing Society has been getting calls since the news broke. People looking to find ways to help the Indigenous community. Christy Pace says taking the time to educate yourself on history is a start and is cautiously optimistic the conversation around school names are being pushed. Especially for the Indigenous population, like, school is difficult. Uh, the institution and everything that's kind of symbolized with that and to, and to go into a facility that ha bears that name is, is terrible. But what's the process like for renaming a school? Well, Edmonton Catholic is just beginning to examine the Grandin school name. Edmonton Public voted in September to get rid of two school names over racist pasts. The Dan Knott School, the former mayor pictured here at a Ku Klux Klan meeting, and Frank Oliver. They use racist policies against us, and uh, they basically removed our people from here. Uh, and in particular, what I'm talking about is Papa Chase people. Mm -hmm. But... You know, Frank Oliver is responsible for other land surrenders as well. Chief Calvin Bruno has been working for years to get rid of the name of the former journalist and politician responsible for land surrenders around Edmonton that removed First Nations from their ancestral land. Edmonton Public says while they have been consulting with communities and hope to have a new name for the Dan Knott School by the end of the year, they're working with the Oliver Community League in renaming the neighbourhood and will start the process for the school after that. We're, we're not cancelling history, but we need to... Uh, think about what we're actually celebrating in history. For Chief Bruno, he hopes there is education on why Oliver's name and others are being removed, as well as understanding of systemic oppression of First Nations, Métis and Inuit people in Canada. It's out in the media, it's out there in the public eye, and I know a lot of people are shocked about it and they're saddened, you know, and they're wondering, you know, how this could happen and that, but it's just that you know, the, I don't think a lot of people realize the extent of the abuse. The Bent Arrow Traditional Healing Society has put together a list of resources on their social media for people reacting to the trauma of learning about this mass grave at a residential school, as well as educational tools for those who don't know to learn more about this dark chapter of Canadian history that is still very active for so many in our community. In Edmonton, Carly Robinson, City News.